anytime we provide any means of oxygen, we also provide oxygen backup. This would be in the event of a power failure um, or possible equipment malfunction. Um, there's basic components to this system, which include the oxygen cylinder, the oxygen regulator, the wrench to turn on the oxygen cylinder. Some oxygen cylinders have a built-in toggle, which also acts as the wrench. To operate the oxygen backup system, you will open the cylinder by turning the wrench on top of the tank or the toggle counterclockwise to open. When you open the cylinder, you only need to turn the wrench until it hits roughly half a turn to open the cylinder. Next, we have the oxygen regulator, which includes a contents gauge showing the difference, um, showing you basically the cylinder's content. Once you turn it on, it's a, it's a gauge that goes from 0 to 2,000 psi. 2,000 psi is considered full. As it's being used, it's going to be going down towards the 0. There's increments of 2,000. 1500 which would be three quarters full 1000 which is half full and then there's actually a zone on the contents gauge that is actually red and that starts at 500 or about one fourth the cylinder remains at the time that the needle is on the 500. From there we move out to the actual flow selector and that has it starts at zero and can go up to as high as eight liters a minute. But again, you would only use this as prescribed by your doctor and you would set this on the number that your doctor has requested. From there, this is the outlet barb that the oxygen tubing is attached to. Um, to demonstrate changing the regulator from one cylinder to the other the sequence would be is to make sure the cylinders turned off by turning clockwise to close then you're going to come out to the end of the regulator opposite the flow selector to this T and it's just a simple basically you're unscrewing it and then the regulator will will practically fall down and you just at that point would pick the regulator up to move to another tank what you're going to do is each tank has a dust cover and just protecting the cylinder opening from any dust or foreign objects so it, there's a little tab on the cover that you're going to take and tear down and when you do that you're going to expose the hole where the oxygen will come out on the cylinder. The regulator has two index pins. The cylinder has two index holes and to put this, the regulator on the cylinder you're just going to simply slide it over the cylinder, match the index pins with the index holes on the cylinder and you'll feel the regulator mate to the tank then you're going to take the T and thread it until it's finger tight it doesn't need to be any tighter than that to check your work the next thing you're going to do is open the cylinder depending on again if it has the wrench feature or does it have the built-in toggle on the one we're working with now has the built-in toggle you turn it counterclockwise to open and at that point you've let the oxygen into the regulator if you hear no hissing then you've you've done the job at that point you're able to now come over and set it to your prescribed leader flow 
attached tubing as required. The easiest place to get it is again off your oxygen concentrator by just pulling it off and placing it on the bottom of the regulator. We'll take a common leader flow to talk about the amount of time that the cylinder will last. At one liter a minute, each e-cylinder will last approximately 11 hours. At two liters a minute, each cylinder will last approximately five and a half hours. At three liters a minute, each cylinder is good for about three hours and 45 minutes. Our basic rule is, is that you, our, our customer, that we provide one cylinder for every liter per minute that your doctor prescribes. So if your doctor wants you to use two liters a minute on your oxygen source, then we would want to provide two oxygen backup cylinders. And we want to designate these cylinders as for backup only. Thank you very much again for watching today. If you have any further questions or problems, please contact us.